She scouted for the prey. At the other end of the arena, a lone naked human figure turned and looked at the oncoming beasts. She was elderly and small, hardly any meat on her. But 834 didn't notice any of that because the wind was talking like a mother and a lovely voice was saying, this one stands straight and tall. She is Queen Bitch. Ancient longings began to groan deep in 834's doggy soul. It was the smell that flipped them, the unmistakable nose bouquet of a nurturing protector, a mother, a commander. The closer she ran, the more 834 fell in love. To humanize, this woman was nothing, a dried up shell. But to 834 and her companions, she was the source of many great psychedelic rivers of color, rushing and dancing out of her, turning the air into a festival. The old woman let out one huge shout, an ah of recognition and welcome, and 834 felt a jolt of something fearful in her heart, a sudden overwhelming knowledge that she had found her pack, her leader, her task, her home. All around her, dogs were slowing, swerving, yapping in confusion, and then, like the tide turning, each fearsome head and scarred body turned to face the exit, just like the old woman. And the same look of love and hope appeared on all the faces. Their barks went up an octave, turned into yodels, and they began to run with the woman in their midst, squealing like puppies.